Hello once again. Now, slightly more of a serious tone. If you've been near my Discord recently, you've known, well, that, uh... It's not looking good. Due to an unfortunate set of circumstances and me being a complete goit... Yeah... I now don't have access to my Discord uh, account, so... Yay. But that doesn't stop me putting out YouTube videos. I'm just slightly more annoyed than usual. Hopefully. IQ will solve that issue. And so as we head into the uh, bracket tournament, how are they going to fare? <laughs> Unveiling the banner, giving them even more reason to fight. And of course, A few syllables that really uh, reaches the hearts of those who have been here more than one year. Do you need more of a reason to uh, to do your best? And who is it with the... Ah. Because they structured a gate in their walk, but... All of them. <laughs> Are you going to, uh... Make us all sappy? Did not go as he pictured it, did it? Looking all stoic towards the future. This isn't some sort of anime. Reality is not quite like that. They uh, keep your eyes firmly in the present, aim for the top. <laughs> Even in the face of uh, such fearsome pressure, he can't help but have a smile. But how's the club going to look when they do graduate? When our uh, jumpy little orange friend will be the senpai to some Morphos years. Very much, uh, slower, more composed intro than the other one. Let me turn it up, actually, see if there's anything I'm missing. But for for the time where they're looking forward to the future, going to grasp it with both hands. That's a leap.
And I remember there being a talk about past acquaintances being in the opposing schools. There's a lot of speculation that can be taken. <laughs> of course, they can't even uh, read the name of the school. Not the only... Not the only ones there. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Leave it for, you know, when you're playing. <laughs> You see, some of them really have made a name for themselves. <laughs> oh, how the stories get a little uh, yeah, a little you know, pulled, distorted, blown out of proportions. What kind of... Huh? What kind of stories do some of the other team members have about them floating about? Really, uh, protecting their own. And what about that one? No, no don't know anything about that guy. Just, um, uh... Forgotten what position he is. Boy, what's in order? <laughs> Doesn't look it. <laughs> That's his greatest strength. <laughs> okay. Good 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 for you. <laughs> for anyone to be able to just jump into a conversation like that with random people. I wish I had that kind of I'm not even sure it's confidence, just single mindedness towards volleyball. <laughs> Mmm, that's an intense face. That's what he picks up on. <gasps> well, they uh, good friends. Well, even with two people trying to pull him back, not even that is ready. Well, is able to do it. Really. He doesn't let anyone intimidate intimidate him, does he? Unlike our race. Oh, 
know, being able to catch up a little with old friends. Is he calling him fat? And as the uh, as the captain with a lot of bear Though, uh, they just need to sh prove themselves on on the court. No matter the size of your team or how long you've been training together. I would like to see more of the of this this team. Time for a passionate speech. It's not over until uh, the final point is scored. Not a bad uh, team uniform. <laughs> is he ever going to get over his nerves? <laughs> But before a match, <laughs> hopefully they've set up close to the bathroom. Our voice. Yep. There's no coming back if you let it get on top of you. And if you, if you manage to get through that, four, <laughs> nothing could be as bad as back then. Asking the important questions. Or a uh, particularly devastating memory. It's all kicking off now. Such confidence. <laughs> I see a lot of banners with you know, catchy phrases to get them inspired. Not quite as short and sweet as fly. I do like the use of the, the empty black space for the rest of the banner. I 
and those that they've came across before, are they going to get a rematch? Wake up late, or... Ah. Uh, he, he couldn't escape. <laughs> Go and fetch him. Oh, the fact you've returned that easily. <laughs> he knows what he's been told. <laughs> That's the kind... <laughs> That's the kind of uh, relationship you want with your team. There's been a lot of, a lot of changes. They've changed and they've stayed the same. Really, all that's happened is that they've grown. Let's prove the uh, the last experience just a, a fluke. Good bit of uh, sportsmanship. Why did he get so so flustered just being called to the huddle huddle? Then this time unlike the practice matches, they've actually got a An audience. <laughs> and so it begins. And do they have such a like a cheer squad for their team turning up. You know, compared to uh, what we saw beginning it all. There's still a few characters here that uh, can do with some ex extra training. Overcome. Clear your... Clear, the na clear your name.
there's the difference in how they uh, get themselves pumped up for the first game. Not everything's about about height there. Time for time for him to you know, kick them in their place. Teach them that they shouldn't underestimate him. Don't falter now. He's got a choice. No showboating, no screaming like that. Is it nice? But you kept it in play. You did it. Ooh. <laughs> they killed him. <laughs> Maybe you should wear some uh, like earplugs. But he visualised. He got past the blockers. Haven't had a time to shine yet. Hmm? 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 <laughs> Please! Please pass to me. Time to uh, take flight. And for one character in particular, it's a bit more than just a uh, Metaphorical. <laughs> Everyone's a bit distracted now. Perfect. Ooh! Ah. Oh. <laughs> nice timing of the song to uh, the animation there, but... Okay, I was about to say, much like the opening was quite subtle and subdued in the, in the song, but it's picking it up. And is there a reason why it's focusing on him alone? But for multiple reasons, this episode was quite a pick-me-up. It seems to have mellowed. We're getting to see the various other schools and their teams and the, you know, and even the female team. Getting to see those play that aren't the 
the regulars that we we've gotten to know. Might be nice. You know, just how many people can they inspire? From falling from grace to where they are now, being able to fight back from uncertainty. If they're really able to put on a good show, and I think it really matters how far they go, just prove to the others that they aren't done and out. Of course, for a viewing experience, if they win everything, then uh, obviously I'd be elated. I think the standout moment, though, obviously for a reason, and even the show acknowledges it, was the embodiment of the spirit of the team to take flight once more. For Renato to actually, you know, do the pose and emulate the crow flying might have been a little much. I think we needed the feather fluttering to the floor, but as a holy shit they're doing it moment, <clears throat> oh, it hit. You know, it was only a matter of time, really, before we got into a the proper, the proper setting. All the other teams going, who are they? Ah, some of them have made a name for, them, name for themselves. The team itself have fallen into disrepair, but we might want to keep our eyes on them. Although for us, he, with his uh, various stories that have come out about his character, how he's this delinquent out here peddling uh, substances, how's that going to affect his psyche? And we already know they've they're two points up. Where are we going to end by the end of the game? Just what kind of disparity? I think every game that we've seen played, well, everyone apart from the very, very first one, seen played since has been relatively close. Is it going to continue along that trend? There's only one real way to find out, and that's to watch more. So if you enjoyed this one, let me know. If you leave a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel to catch up more, and probably that's the best way to make sure you don't miss out right now. So, so until the next one, take care of yourselves, reach for the top, I'll see you there. My patrons seem to have always been sitting on the sidelines cheering me on. And so if you want to sit there metaphorically bang some bottles together, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. And while it may not make me perform any better, at least I won't feel like a complete reject should I inevitably fail. So to Electric Ant, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sound, Dark Shadow, 7899, Shiran, Matt, Stinsfire, Gurley, Soldier Strong, Cardboard, Croyville, Dead of Rojas, Alvin Garcia, Santiago, and everyone else. I really can't thank you enough.